<laughs> Hello, Clysier, Phantom Brave. In the last part, we did some levels that I don't think had any plot significance. In this part, we start off by selling some items, because I want to make a mystic. And although they have mystical powers, ah, powers, their name will not be Matthew Patel. They're going to be Tark. But I, I needed to sell those to make money to get the mystic. Uh, oh, we can only afford one spiritual XP. Unfortunate. But I think it'll be fine. They will still be useful. Dark. Okay. Uh, what's that? Hmm. I think resistance. Yeah. Okay, Tark has joined the team. And he's right here. Okay, now let's go on a mission. Oh, uh, wait, maybe I want to equip him with something, except I just sold all my items. And I probably didn't want him wielding a weed anyway. Um, yes, we also have Ivan the Blacksmith recently. Oh, the change book has Mega Fire on it. Hmm. What are Tark's stats again? Maybe you can have Morona's wand? What are Morona's native skills? Right. You know nothing on your own except strike toss body swing. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll just go as is. I think this is probably about the last episode where I won't have to, like, backtrack if I want to level someone up. We're just on 1-3. Okay, let's go. It's the White Wolf! He's the White Wolf army. You've been making fools of my grunts! I am the Great Raphael! Leader of the White Wolf Army! Wait, and I was joking. Swordsman. Well, little no, I'm not girl, scared. You must be the chroma that those whelps hired! I'll break your bones! I'll gnash your knees! I think... Are you ready to run yet? Um, actually, can we talk this over? Is this some trick to pull the wool over my eyes? How dare you try to trick me! No, no, I just want to... Morona, don't you think he's acting a little odd? He doesn't sound much like Raphael to me. Maybe he's an imposter. Whoa! Maybe. What's that supposed to mean? Actually, wait, did we take the mission in the last episode? I thought that happened in episode one. He just said he was Raphael, leader of the White Wolf <laughs> Army and Invincible Swordsman. Remember? Man, good thing imposters never lie. Is he even carrying a sword? You can't go through life believing what everyone says. They'll walk all over you. That isn't nice, Ash. You're too negative. You need to learn to trust people. <laughs> Meanwhile... Alright, what are we looking at? Oh, is this game, game Breaker? Alright. So we see a bunch of slimes, and only a couple on the front have, like, more than 10 fire resist. Not detecting any protections on the map. What level were these slimes? One, perfect. Yeah, and he's level three. And he's Raphael, question mark. So, what's our confine range? Let's see, Tark has 60 move, so he can probably make it there. Let's go! Oh, what do we want to get our bo with our bottle fairy? Maybe another starfish? It could be useful to have two. Gotta get all the way behind him, though. <laughs> Whatever, we can do it. 
Maybe someone can pick up Morona, but then she'll want to throw the staff so that she can be lifted instead of someone taking the staff. Um, I'd like to get Ivan out here. Let's do it. Uh, no, Ash, you're not needed here. He's already level three. I should have probably put the blacksmith more in front. Let's go! Right, that looks good. I know I'm not really considering the confined stats. But I'm I'm just working on positioning. Oh, that's out of range. And I don't want to confine to this. Or maybe I do, just to try and take it home. Uh no. I end my turn. Oh no! The slime assault! Let's see. Yeah, I guess just hit that one. Profit punch is the best move because we never have any cash. You just have strike. And you hit the same one. You're a fighter, so you just stay there. EX punch? More damage equals more EXP? It's over. I'll take it. It's over. Yeah, blinding light this. Pow. Then move over here. I'm probably confined to this. My soldier's only level one. Do I even want to work on my soldier, though? Probably. Uh, this is an int plus 20 tree. Let's do it! And we've we gotta show blatant favoritism to our named units. So like she's level three, but like You're just distributing those slimes everywhere. Also, <laughs> since I got on top of that one slime and ended my turn, I'm now held by the slime. Chakra. Okay, so that's a boost effect on self, I assume. Or maybe, it's, no, it's targeted. Karma, a little healing. Can we finish anything off? No, we're not really in range. Okay, you can't chakra yourself. Let's just make sure we use a skill. <laughs> Defense up! Activating those chakra points. It's all like acupuncture or whatever, except more punching instead of needle. That's why it's acupuncture. Because I mispronounced it. probably throw me. No? That's what happens if you're holding an enemy, or an enemy is holding you. Your turn is taken up by automatically stomping on them. It deals decent damage. Pow, got him. He hit the slime because it was holding my unit. Or maybe he tried targeting the mystic, but... Sometimes the way you slide makes your attacks go a little weird. Can I hit this with blinding light? Nice. That moves me towards the starfish. And I'm not really concerned for Morona's health at the moment. He's got a lot of health. Alright, let's strike this. Pow. Got him. Profit punch something. <laughs> With all these slimes in the early game, you certainly see the animation for squash a lot. Oh, that was the fighter. I thought it was the Mystic, because they were both in, like, about the same area. Oh, no, the Mystic moved down. 
Oh, that's bad. 15 is a lot of health. Alright, we've got one more cast of fire. Do I wanna... Oh, I can't reach that one. Witches don't move very far. Actually, yeah, 40 decimeters. That's not very much. Come here. Got him. Which starfish do I want, actually? This one's level one. This one's level one. Wait, are they both plain? Are there any titles on anything on the ground yet? Plain, 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 plain. Yeah, okay. So I think there's some way to bring up a menu. Oh, status. No. I thought there was some way to view a list of all the units in a battle. Anyway, we're gonna blinding light this. We're gonna go for the star in this corner. Ah, it's too far. This is the blacksmith. I guess hit him. I might want to use a normal strike instead of an EX punch. But I'm gonna do with the EX punch anyway. Okay, it did no damage, so I probably got no experience off that. In case he wants to AoE, I'm gonna force him to pick a target. Oh, except I used too much movement. Well, I can cancel. Just move to like there. All right. Well, good thing we haven't used Ash yet. Oh, how many turns do we have? Remove three. Remove one. Last well, is going to disappear anyway. Let's see, Morona can probably get the Mystic healed, and he'll be useful. Alright, healing punch. Alright, that's fine. We don't need to heal the blacksmith. He's got like zero turns left. It's at least similar to zero turns left. Like zero turns. Alright, you've got another turn. You can probably hit Sir the guy. This is definitely your last turn. Yeah, that isn't it. Oh, I hit X, of course. Yeah, flashing one remove. We, we've got to hit, hit the boss. Oh, I'm out of SP. That's a problem. Yeah, I can slide. Nice. Oh, less nice. Maybe I can just target him with flap. No? I'm getting too close. I want to slide off the cliff in a favorable location. Because I guess Thwap is a very slightly ranged attack. There, got him. That 37 damage will be useful. Alright, that's probably close enough. Yep. Let's go. Got the 100 take home chance. Let's see, and heal has a bit of range, right? Heal light? No, not that much. I'm still going to make that my turn, though. Alright, last turn. Just strike. Strike deal zero. Okay. You just wait there. It wastes a turn, but. This is what we're doing. He needs healed. Alright, you just hang out. My turn! Nice! Got a plain flower. We can sell that if nothing else. Right, healing Tark. And let's see. All the objects are down there, that's fine. 
Now we can reuse some of these objects. Uh, does any of this stuff give, like, not minus attack? Nothing in range. Whatever, we can bring out the healer now. And Ash is still waiting. Oh, I have eight Let's characters remaining. I can just, like, confine everyone. Let's go! But we'll try to get a favorable object for Ash if we need him. I'm gonna heal the soldier, because the soldier lasts a lot of turns. Yeah, due to sliding, I needed to reselect the skill. Nice! Obtain that plain rock! Right. Deal with you. Got him. Great! Alright, punished. Oh yeah, there's the rock. Behind Stonehenge here. Let's go! Let's go. Cast the heal light on something just to train SP. Uh, just out of range. Oh yeah, I'm an out of move. Ash doesn't have a weapon. There's probably nothing here he should be wielding though. I guess he could take the Valkyrie's weapon. Steel! Always 100% successful on your own allies. <laughs> and then the Valkyrie can steal it back. Perfect plan. I don't want to kill him before the bottle mail disappears. Got a plain starfish. Yeah, that's not hitting any allies. Boom, got him. <sighs> Did nobody level? Ah, Tark's almost leveled though. You're not an ordinary chroma. Wow, he figured it I'm out. Actually, new at this. I'm Marona, and this is Ash. Morona? Morona, the possessed one? Huh, stay away! Help! Somebody help me! <laughs> I agree. Oh, 200 Bordeaux! I'm sorry that I can't pay you more than that. It's really all I can do. Yeah, I must consider the future of our village. I understand. You need to take care of your village. This payment is fine. Morona, what are you saying? It's barely anything. This was a tough job. You deserve at least triple what he paid us. Well, we stole some objects from the world. Well, thank you very much, Morona. Come on, Morona, say something. Um, Mr. Elder? Eh? Did you need something else? Yes, actually. Thank you for your business. <laughs> Who in their right mind would pay top dollar for a possessed chroma? <laughs> this sure doesn't seem worth it, after all our hard work. Don't say that, Ash. It should be enough that we can help people. I bet the people of Terra Firma are grateful we came. See, we wouldn't have gotten any classes in that last I mission. I certainly hope so. They were all monsters. There are a few monsters you can 
get, but you need to kill like 20 of them, not what? one like with Hello. the human classes. What's up? Yeah, what's up? Oh, is this for me? What were you doing to my child? Nothing. What? I, I wasn't. Don't you ever touch my baby. You already got what you came for. Go away. Marona. Don't worry. I'm sure that one day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like that they they just cut it off. Like, yeah, that was that was enough of the quote. So I guess we're just doing one mission per video from now on. But yep, we're home. Oh, we got C-mail. Okay, gotta, gotta just press A on the mailbox. Oh, and yeah, I'm creating new characters. Might want several characters. He's lucky number seven. Considering the confined limit is 16 counting items, my lucky number is actually eight. Except right now I'm using a lot of unequipped phantoms. But anyway, let's view the event at least. We won't actually do a mission though. We might buy some equipment or look? something. Yeah, how does it look? It says, please save our island. Terrible shadows have enveloped our homes, driving us away. Please defeat the evil. What is it, Marona? Uh, maybe he died while he was writing it. Please defeat the evil. Oh, wait, no. Phantoms. Evil phantoms, eh? I guess they don't really know about us, do they? What should we do, Ash? Well, what they don't know won't hurt him, will it? He just won't say anything. So, where does the client want to meet us? The seamail says, Vapor Island. Vapor Island? Alright, that's not the Isle of Evil, good. I don't... Oh, Walnut! Okay. I remember Episode Walnut. Two. Walnut. I don't think he's the client, though. There's, like, no way he'd be the client. But anyway, we'll get to that. Let's see, does this... Okay, this book can level up. Oh, and if it had 400 mana, it could learn Mega Fire. Foolish is probably not what you want in a book, come to think of it. Now, this has some skills it can learn. Nice. Oh, can learn Burst for zero. Why not? Wow. Wow, a lot of the starfish's skills cause you to drop it. I, I, that's what that uh, arrow down box thing is, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure the basic attack you hold- oops. You hold on to it though. Maybe I should make sure before I go all in on a starfish. I view the stats of an item. Can I do it from here? Yeah. Star Flash, the basic move, you, you still hold on to it. Okay. Let's see, do you need to do anything else? We need to heal up. Seven. Is there anyone to create? I guess I could create a better Mystic now, but... It really doesn't matter. We're, we're talking like... I mean, consider... Oops. Um, cancel. Okay. Um, I mean, their base stats were like... Half of what you see in the lower left there. So each plus one is just a small difference. Just if I have the money, I like to do it. But it's not going to make or break a character. For just plus two. Now, if you could give like a hundred bonus stats, that'd be pretty nice. I know we need something for a mystic. I guess you could just work on physical for now. 
<laughs> not likely to find any combination of physical and healing. Oh, did that just re-roll the inventory, or are these the same things? I think it re-rolled the inventory. Hmm. What sort of item do we want, though? And this steel staff seems pretty good. It's more in resistance, though. That's weird. Cool sword! <laughs> oh! Yeah, I'll take this one, I think. Blinding Light's a decent attack skill, and we did put the bonus point into resistance. And our merchant leveled up from the purchase. Let's see, equip Tark with this. Yeah, HP recovers unconfined. That's actually useful because if you confine him to something that has bonus HP, he'll immediately heal up the bonus. Oh yeah, I wanted to look at this. Yeah, healing is his best SP growth. How's our witch doing on SP? Nice, to six. Can cast fire three times now. Which is every turn. Alright, party's coming along. See, I still have some money. Not really, actually. Do I want a thunder book? Nah, I can get one later if I want it. Can you sell anything with failure on it yet? Just looking at the titles. Because we want a failure item eventually, because it's actually ridiculously overpowered when you use it right. By which I mean... Y I'll explain later, we don't even have the fusionist. You don't actually bring it to battle with failure on it. You just attach failure while fusing, and it, it's overpowered. It's the overpowered strats I referred to earlier. Because uh, we don't want to grind. Although, if somebody did want a named character and everyone was already like level 10, I would backtrack and grind for that character. Um, but uh, anyway, that's it for this part. I seem to have spent the last like 7 minutes just sitting here on the island doing stuff. Who spends time arranging their party and stuff? Anyway, I already saved, but I threw a star, and it was very important to save that. So, uh, yeah. See ya!